in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We are we preparing to come back for worship. And we are to be cautious about singing, perhaps speaking the words or having a soloist sing while we listen. Well, as we prepare to listen and look at Psalm 22, hear the words of this hymn. God moves in a mysterious way, his wonders to perform. He plants his footsteps in the sea and rides upon the storm. Judge not the Lord by feeble sense, but trust him for his grace. Behind a frowning providence, faith sees a smiling faith. His purposes will ripen fast, unfolding every hour. The bud may have a bitter taste, but sweet will be the flower. When we look at Psalm 22, the whole passion account of Jesus comes before us. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? God shared what would happen long before Jesus was born, but they were part of his plan. Like the hymn said, the bud may have a bitter taste, but sweet will be the flower. The hummingbirds are back and tasting each flower, reminding us how sweet the name of Jesus sounds in a believer's ear. Remember these words from the song? He trusts the Lord, let him rescue him. Or, they have pierced my hands and my feet. I can count all my bones. They divide my garments among them, and for my clothing they cast lots. Yes, blind unbelief is sure to err and scan his work in vain. God is his own interpreter, and he will make it plain. You fearful saints, fresh courage take. The clouds you so much dread are big with mercy and will break in blessings on your head. And the psalm says it best, all the ends of the earth shall remember and turn to the Lord. Amen. And now the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be and abide with you all. Amen.